here with Dr. John Diaz, who is the president of the Los Angeles Plastic Surgery Society. And I'm so excited to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you for sitting down with me. Thank you for having me. Yes, you just gave a talk here at I the- I did, yes, literally so, five minutes ago. <laughs> well, that's how it works at the Aesthetic <laughs> Everything Beauty Expo. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you were talking about today. Yeah, so what I was talking about is how societies like ours are so important in a city like Los Angeles mm -hmm. because we are the epicenter of beauty. We are the epicenter of cosmetic medicine. And we have so many patients that come in from all over the world to come here. But because of that, there can be a lot of misinformation and a lot of problems can occur because of that. Sometimes patients don't know which doctors to go to. Sometimes they don't know which treatments to get. And there's so much hype and smoke and mirrors, it's hard to make sense of it all. So what we do is we're kind of the professional society that represents the best plastic surgeons and we want to educate patients about procedures, educate them about doctors, and really help the patients and the consumers in Los Angeles. So how do you become part of the society? It's a very long process. Okay. First, you have to be board certified, which you know, I think most people most, understand yeah. it, it takes a lot of years to become a board certified surgeon. There's all these steps you have to go through and okay. prove that you're a really competent, qualified surgeon. Okay. That's the first step for us. So that's just the beginning. After that, we have to be recommended. We have to fill out an application. We have to be reviewed by a board. And if you pass all of that, then you're accepted. Okay, and so then your society would put out a list of these are all the surgeons that we recommend Correct. that are on the up and up and amazing. Exactly. Okay. That's right, yeah. And are there different ones in other cities, or and do you guys all the different societies connect, or no? Is it really just stand on your own? In yeah, your own city? that's a great question. You know, I think most cities have their own societies. We are a local society, okay. so we represent Los Angeles. Okay. But it's funny because we're in. Los Angeles, and because Beverly Hills is part of our society, uh -huh. we actually have people that want to join us from all over the country. It's actually really oh, interesting. Wow. So we have plastic surgeons from other cities and other states, and even other countries that want to be a member of our society because of the prestige of Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. Wow, That's, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's fun, it's exciting. It's really a privilege to be a part of this. And then is it great networking as well? Like, are you, oh. are you guys doing social events, or how does that work? Absolutely, so we have meetings throughout the year uh -huh. where we invite world-renowned speakers they come to our meetings they speak we have a beautiful cocktail reception hour where we get to talk and it's it's funny because at plastic surgery meetings the talk is about well how do you do this procedure and how do you do that procedure uh -huh. so it's it's really a great way for all of us to collaborate mm -hmm. and really share ideas it's actually been an incredible source of innovation going back to this beauty expo I mean there's so much innovation here mm -hmm. and so many incredible devices and products and everything Everything. Well, these meetings, I think one of the perks is that because of all of this interaction and collaboration, great ideas have sparked out of our meetings and people have gone on to invent and create incredible things. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so great. Yeah. What does it mean for you to be able to speak and to be at the Aesthetic Everything Beauty Expo? Well, I was very honored, you know, to be invited mm -hmm. because it was, first of all, it's, it's just incredible to be a part of this. So that, that I would have been happy just attending. But to be invited to be a speaker was a real honor. A big deal, yeah. Yeah, so I was really honored to do that and to be invited and to share what I can about our society and how maybe it can help the Beauty Expo. I love it. Yeah, yeah well, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, was there anything else I feel like that you want to share just about your, the society or what you do maybe or anything in particular, how people can get more information? Well, the only thing I would add is as a patient, as a potential consumer, uh -huh. If you are considering a procedure, I think looking at a doctor, today, nowadays, with social media, everyone goes on Instagram uh -huh. and everyone goes and looks at pictures. And that's really important, obviously, right? You wanna know that your doctor is doing good work. But I think, I think it's also important to see that your doctor is a part of societies like ours. Because what it really demonstrates is that not only is the doctor doing good results, but the doctor actually cares enough to be better mm -hmm. and to strive for better and to be a better surgeon and more knowledgeable and have more information. And that, in my opinion, is the kind of doctor that you should want to have. I think in a lot of people's opinions, definitely, yeah. I definitely agree. Yeah. So thank you for being here and, and for being the president and doing so much for the I'm society. Like I said, I was very happy to be here and Yay. thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. Thanks. It was you. nice meeting you. Yes. Thanks for your time. Of course. If you want more information about our society, you can go on Instagram and find us on hashtag LA Plastic Surgery.